How's it guys? It's uh, Richard back here. I'm going to be doing another um, candle printing uh, video for the Uprint system. We found a quicker, easier way and cheaper to do it. Um, so we're going to quickly go through the, the procedure. Please watch carefully and if you've got any questions, please email us after this video is published. Alright, so basically we get our, pa our paper in, in a roll. We're going to sell you the paper in a roll. Alright. It is cheaper, it ends up being about a rand a sheet, so it's much cheaper than buying it at nine rand a page because we want people to make money on candles. So you buy a roll of this, it's going to be about 650 odd rand. Okay, you get about, um, Jordi, we worked it out about 600 pages. 600 pages out of it. All right, you're going to be using your yellow paper, your yellow laminated paper for this. This is going to, and we're going to watch it's We've learned a nice little trick. To get this paper through the printer is too thin, but we're going to use this paper to assist it. We're going to show you how to do it. So you put your page on the, the sheet and you cut it slightly bigger in terms of the width, not the height, but the width. Okay, so you take your ruler and you cut off your width, your sorry, your height in, in one shot. Okay, and then you put your page on. And you make it slightly bigger if you notice they are making it slightly bigger and you cut this side here just so that when you put your page in and you'll show you the reason why right now um, we uh, one more thing we're going to charge three rand uh, to cut the pages for you if you want us to okay yeah you can buy the three rand a sheet or you can buy the roll but it obviously makes sense another thing guys this paper can also be used on your clothing for your second heat press you'll notice it pretty much like your your wax paper or whatever you're using but this is a very nice paper that we've brought in it's silicon based so and it's cheap enough so that you and you can use this at numerous times as your second coating on your thing so there's two reasons why you should buy a roll for candles and for your second press on your shirts okay right now what I'm going to show you guys you take your yellow paper you put the white side down yellow side facing up and this is a bit of a trick you go and you scar the back of it you don't cut too deep otherwise you'll cut right through it to scar the back of it and then while it's on there just take get underneath the first layer if you can see it okay and you peel that off okay you can see how I've done it there with the, the thing all right now that's that's pretty straightforward guys and easy now what you do to get this through the printer all we do is we bring the sheet up we line it up at the top making sure that there's no exposed area you don't want this glue going through your machine and touching your rollers so make sure that the, the page is over the and it's completely if you don't get it at the top nicely then all you simply do is take the paper and scar it at the top and this page guys I'm going to show you you can use it over and over again you don't have to redo in yellow paper because I know yellow paper is fiber in a sheet but you just need to use one and you can probably get 30 or 40 pages through I'm going to show you again this time I'm going to line it up a bit better, okay, over the top, and again, you get it through the machine, and then you can get another page. All right, so we're going to go take this, and we're going to take it to the printer. We've got a page in there ready. Okay, so you put it in, and you make sure that you you line it up for the yellow, to the candle paper, not the yellow paper. Close it, push your print, and then you'll see it goes through perfectly comes out there's your candle design okay so now we're going to go forward and we're going to also show you how we put on your candles just take the opportunity of redoing that all right so now you take your heat gun okay. um, all right guys before you heat gun it you delaminate it put your yellow paper on the side and then you heat gun it okay and then it's it's very important that you heat gun it because it's, it's difficult to get it on the candle without smudging it. Okay, then you take your yellow paper, put it back there, ready for your next page. I'm gonna quickly do this candle for you. Okay, so you cut that in half, because it's going in the center of your candle. This is the candle I'm using, and I'm just gonna put, position it nicely. I do it like that, make sure it's nice and straight, and then I close it like that and then we heat gun it sorry guys come through all right now we're going to heat gun this on
Okay, watch carefully as we heat gun it. You'll see that the wax melts around it. Very quick, guys. You don't have to do a lot. And the more you do this, the better you get at it. But we've made this like almost. Okay, so you just let it cool down a bit. What you can do is if you've got other candles, you just leave it lying there until it's cool and then you peel it off. Okay, but I'm just going to speed it up by just cooling it down a bit. Okay, and then you can actually see it as you're peeling in that it's come off perfectly and I'm going to show you from this side. Can you see that? As you peel it, and now you've got a perfect, perfect peel. Guys, it's really amazing. It works perfectly every time. All right, even with fine font, okay? Guys, that's the way we're doing it now. It's so much easier. Have fun.